Hey guys, this is Pixel Dan coming to you from the Four Horsemen Studios booth at the 2016 New York Toy Fair, and I'm here with my friend Eric Treadaway to talk about Mythic Legions. So how's it going, Eric? Uh, it's going well. We've been having a nice turnout here, and very excited to be premiering some new product here and showing off some things that are uh, just about ready to ship. Excellent. Yeah, it's been uh, quite a buildup, a lot of hype around the Mythic Legion stuff. You guys had this all on display last year, and we've got a bunch of, I think, final product here, but we got some new stuff here as well, correct? Absolutely. Yeah, we've got a good mix here. Um, on the, the two ends here, these are the figures that we, um, that we sold in the uh, Kickstarter, mm -hmm. and uh, that was running this time last year, and now we've got final product on our little display here, which is... Uh, you know, we were sweating it out this time last yeah. year, so we're, we're happy to be here with looking at figures in packages, finish, um, and uh, production has gone very smoothly on it, and the final product has turned out fantastic. Uh, so we're very excited to be this close to shipping. We're about a month away from a uh, little over a uh, little over a month away before we start shipping out oh, to okay. customers. That's so. Uh, we had a little Chinese New Year delay, but other than that, we've been pretty close to on schedule with it, so uh, we were happy about That's that. That's great. Well, i got to say that seeing the final products here in person, I mean, they look incredible. And we were just talking right before we started rolling how good the paint looks on all of these figures, like these production samples. I mean, they're, they're fantastic. They turned out so good. Yeah, I mean, the factory has done such a great job on these paints that there's actually some that even look better than the prototypes. That's awesome. um, you know, some because some of them they're they're molded, uh, it, the plastic is molded in color, and so some of the metallics they ha get a, a sheen that you know we didn't even get with the hand painted samples. Right. Um, so, really, really just fantastic work from the factory. I'm really excited to check these out like in hand when they start shipping. Um, but it's really cool to see that you guys are still going with it and you're still making new things and surprising us. There's some really great little new figures here and like this little like a warthog looking guy like caught my eye immediately when walking in here and you said that he's been catching a lot of people's eye. Absolutely. Uh, you know when we we put these things together, you know, we've got our favorites in the studio and ones that we think, you know, really work when we when we finish the paint jobs and see them for the first time complete. But you never know when you put it out there to the public right. what's gonna you know just kind of capture people's imaginations, and uh, yeah, the, people are calling it the Borier, uh, <laughs> so we may have to work that into the bio a little bit. Um, but yeah, that one seems to really have grabbed grabbed people's attention. So yeah, it's, for for us, it's fun to sit back now and, and look and see what people have to say and, and yeah. what they gravitate toward. Absolutely. I love too like we got like the uh, like this cheetah looking guy up here who totally looks like he could fit in with like some of your seventh kingdom uh, cat ladies that we've seen in the past too. People love uh, the animal figures yeah. and, and they request them all the time. Uh, you know, this line is a little different than some of our other ones because we were very heavily animal based on these, but there that is an element to this world that we're creating, yeah. uh, especially uh, in the backstory part of it. And uh, so that's what we we had the Minotaur in the first line, um, but we wanted to get this Jaguar and the Boar in here to start trickling that element a little more into the line and just so that it's represented early on and you know, the, you're know you going to see more of it as the line does go on. Awesome. Very cool. So really neat stuff over here, but we got this big guy in the middle here, and I think we saw this guy back at Comic-Con. was around the first time we saw him maybe. I don't remember if you had him last year, but he's just this massive troll sitting here. And you've got another one up in the front of the booth that I'll make sure I get footage of. Okay. Um, but tell us a little bit about these trolls. Uh, I couldn't be more excited about these guys. Uh, the, these are figures that uh, we've been wanting to do for a long time. Um, they're very indulgent pieces, sculpturally and from a paint standpoint. Uh, you, you know, there's usually, on any given product or project, you've got a certain uh, set of parameters that you need to go by. Whereas this, it's just pure, just detail, just make it as monstrous as we can. We could go big. Uh, the paint we could go crazy with it is you know it's a deluxe figure so we've got a little bit more leeway with the you know the the price on it and um, I don't know I mean it's just something that I, I've wanted to see for forever and not only to get one big troll like this but to do two and so it, there's just so many classic versions of of trolls that everybody's grown up with and so to be able to 
to do a couple of those rather than just having to, to focus in on one. Just, you know, it's, it's icing on the cake here. Very cool. Do you guys have any idea like a price point on those yet or how you're going to be selling those? Uh, we're still working out the price point. Um, I would say that as high as, as it would go would be $100. Okay. Uh, it could be a little less. Um, we just have to figure it out. We got we have to make sure that we're not going to lose money on these right. uh, because it's not only is it a big figure, the weapon is gigantic. It's got soft goods on it. It does have a tremendous amount of pain on it. Um, so we're going to have to make sure we cover our bases on yeah, it. For sure. uh, so that, that price point, it's going to be somewhere in that range. Uh, as far as how we're going to sell it, uh, this one's not going to be a Kickstarter. It's going to be a pre-order directly off of uh, storehorseman.com. Okay. And uh, it's going to be later this month. So these things are going to go right into production as soon as um, Toy Fair is over. Oh, that's awesome. And uh, so we want to get that pre-order up. And, you know, it's, they're going to be primarily rotocast figures, so production will go faster. Okay. Uh, so these will be hopefully uh, out to fans by mid-year. That would be sweet. Is it the same kind of idea with the, the new guys you got here? Are those just going to be direct pre-orders through Store Horsemen? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yeah, we're, we will do another Kickstarter for this. Um, but, you know, it's, it's a huge undertaking. Uh, the first one ended up being like 33 figures or something like that when it was all said and done. And um, so we want to make sure that we don't have long... Uh, lapses in between the Kickstarters with no product because we want to make sure that if people are getting into this that they've got something to continue to be excited about and even if it's just you know like little four figure waves it's still a little something just to keep interest up and yeah. um, you, you know without having the, the financial burden of collecting that goes with you know just back to back Kickstarters okay. um, but but you know the Kickstarter is going to bring a lot of you know new body types and new tooling. So there's there's something to look forward to on the the bigger scale as well. Awesome. Now I do believe you have one figure back here who's going to be a convention exclusive coming up, correct? Uh, well, we're we're calling it a convention premiere because okay. uh, that's one of the things that you know as a company we've tried to avoid is doing you know actual exclusives. Gotcha. We want to make sure that anybody who is into the line and who supported on the us on this. Uh, you know, it's not going to be excluded. If they want to get a figure, they've got the opportunity to get it. Um, but yeah, this, this back here we've got the Orc Weapons Master, uh, which is, uh, you know, a little bit of a tribute figure. And that is uh, a figure that we're doing special for PowerCon. Uh, awesome. if, if production uh, agrees with us on yeah, this. Yeah. Um, but, but yeah, I mean, it, it's, we thought it was a fun little tribute Absolutely. to Masters. and Great color uh, scheme there. I like it. Well, it is. It's, it's a classic. And, and the, the fun kind of, I guess, twist or whatever for us on that was that the orc skin tone was already a perfect match. Right. So it's just the armor that we kind of tweaked around there. So, it, you know, we, we want to have fun with this line. And, and uh, you know, it also just kind of, uh, you know, speaks to, to, you know, what we've been doing for the past 20 yeah. years and, and, you know, the fans that we've, you know, that we we've accumulated by working on Masters of the Universe. Right, right. So, uh, yeah, just uh, I, and you know, hopefully, just uh, also just something a little special to bring out to PowerCon. Sure, yeah, another great reason to come out to PowerCon in California this June. So make sure you guys look up that information so we can see you guys there. Well, Eric, thank you so much for taking the time to walk us through. Uh, Mythic Legions is looking great. I can't wait to get some of the stuff in hand and start playing with it. And I'm very excited for the future of the line. All right, thank you very much. It's our pleasure. Well, there you go, guys. A look at what Four Horsemen Design has on display here at the 2016 New York Toy Fair. Stay up to date with Pixel Dan at Toy Fair 2016. Follow at Pixel Dan on Twitter or forward slash Mandalorian30 on YouTube.com. Thanks for tuning in to your premier source for all things toys, Pixel Dan. See you again.